hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have x squared minus x to the power of 3 equals 36 by looking at this you will see that it looks impossible but then it can be solved this is less than this and how come we subtract them to get this number now watch the way i will uh, solve it so we have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 you know this right here is the same thing as negative x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 Okay, what we have here and this are the same. So I can bring this here and I'll get negative x to the power of 3 plus x squared equals 36. Right? Then we can equally multiply everything by the negative here. So we have x to the power of 3 negative x to the power of 2 equals negative 36 and now i want to bring this to the left so it becomes x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 negative you know this is negative right if it comes it becomes positive 36 and this is now equal to zero so from here what do i do i can express this in this form so that we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 then plus 36 here is the same thing as um, 27 plus 9 so we equate this to 0 x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2 equals 0. Now, I have expressed everything in the same form. This can be written in the form of this, right? But what I would do now is to regroup. This and this will be combined, and this and this will work together. So I have x to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3, then minus, I'm going to write this first, x to the power of um, 2 plus 3 to the power of 2. Okay, so everything here is equal to 0. I already have x to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3, right? I already have this. I'm going to factorize that. Then from here, for me to group this, minus 1 is a factor. I have x squared okay and then this negative here is going to affect this so it becomes negative 3 to the power of 2 and everything is equal to 0 so here are the two that will factorize x to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 i will deal with this then minus open bracket x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 equals 0 so i will deal with this and this Okay, so let's go. If you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a squared plus b Okay, we have a plus b. There's nothing here. We have a plus b in this bracket. Then in the second bracket, we're going to have a squared, then minus a b plus b squared okay so if you have this this is what you have remember there's no power here here we have power one right so and here we apply difference of two squares so i'm going to write this in this form a plus b becomes x plus three so i write x plus three then here is squared that would be x squared 
minus a b that would be x times 3 and it is 3x then plus b squared that would be 3 squared which will give us 9 so i will close that and then i go over to that minus open bracket here we have difference of two squares x minus 3 then x plus 3 then we equate everything to 0 okay so from here now what can we see we can see x plus 3 in two places so we'll factorize x plus 3 out then in here i have x squared minus 3x plus 9 i will close this then minus i'll have this open bracket x minus 3 close this then i equate this to zero this is because x plus 3 is already out x plus 3 is a factor then here to open this bracket we have x squared minus 3x plus 9 minus x plus 3 because i am to open the bracket <clears throat> and we have negative times x negative x negative times negative 3 is plus 3 then we equate this to 0 now x plus 3 remains the factor x squared minus 3x minus x will give us minus 4x then minus 3 minus 9 okay this is plus 9 plus 9 plus 3 will give us plus 12 right we close this and equate to 0 so from here we can conclude that it is either x plus 3 equals 0 or x squared minus 4x plus 12 equals 0. Now, if this is the case, our x on this side is equal to negative 3. So here we have one of the real solutions to the equation. So I'm going to pick this other equation and then we deal with it, right? Okay, so we're going to use um, quadratic formula to deal with this. Our x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. x will now be minus minus 4 because b itself is minus 4 plus or minus we have square root of 4 squared okay that would be negative 4 squared then minus 4 times a times c and our c is 12 so we divide this by 2 times 1 because a is still 1 x is equal to 4 plus or minus 16 minus 48 so we divide this by 2 how did I get the 48 4 times 1 times 12 is 48 and minus 4 squared is 16 so we continue from here so that x will be equal to I will write 4 here right then plus or minus then I have 16 minus 48 and that will 16 minus 48 is going to give us um, 32, right? Okay, but it's negative. So we have negative 32. Then we divide this by 2. So from here, what do I do? We have x to be equal to 4 plus or minus. We have square root of 32 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Everything over 2. Now, I want to break this root 32. x is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by 2 times square root of negative 1 all over 2. 
Now, x here is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 of 16 is 4. Then we have root 2. Then square root of negative 1 is i. Divide this by 2. Now, our x is equal to 4 plus or minus. We have from 4 um, i root 2. Okay, we can multiply 4 and i so that it will not appear under the square root sign. Then we divide this by 2. What can I do again? X is now 2 can go there and the same 2 can go here. So we have 2 plus or minus here we have 2i root 2. So this means that our x from here is equal to 2 plus 2i root 2 or 2 minus 2i root 2. So here we have two solutions. And remember the solution we got before, which is x equals negative 3. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Although it is this equation that is considered the real solution. Thank you for watching.